Hello and welcome to Engineer Freely's Quick Clip video series. Today I'll be showing you how to assemble Frankenstein Motorworks Dry-By-Wire Pedal Assembly for SW20 MR2s. This video is for folks that want to purchase all the components of the Dry-By-Wire Pedal Assembly separate. Keep in mind, Frankenstein Motorworks sells a complete pedal kit to avoid sourcing all the parts and all the assembly work that is required. All the details can be found on Frankenstein Motorworks website. For those who went down the same road I did, let's get to work. To build the pedal kit, you'll need three different items. The dry-by-wire pedal module, the Frankenstein Motorworks bear kit, and a pedal face. For this install, I used a 2016 IS250 dry-by-wire pedal and an IS250 sport pedal face. Part numbers of the items I used will be in the description below. First step is to remove the retaining ring. While you can certainly pry it off the pedal rod with a screwdriver, I found it was easier to use a pair of adjustable pliers and squeeze the clip and pull it off. Next, you will need to remove the pedal rod. I used adjustable pliers to start pushing the rod out like so. Once it was flush, I used another item, such as this M6 bolt, to help me push out the rest of the rod. Once the original pedal rod is removed, it is now time to install the Frankenstein Motorworks pedal rod from the bear kit. As you would imagine, the installation is reverse of the removal. I use a pair of adjustable pliers to help push the rod all the way through the dry-by-wire pedal module. Be sure the pedal rod is pushed all the way in before proceeding to the next step. Next is to install the new retaining ring from the bare kit. Frankenstein Motorworks has informed me their kit now comes with an easier to install retaining ring compared to the one shown here. For ease of installation, I used the help of a 3 8 socket since I could not find my 10mm anywhere. I used the socket to push the retaining clip onto the new pedal rod. When the retaining clip is fully seated, it should look like this. Following the new retaining clip installation, it is time to install the pedal face. A pin will be supplied with the pedal face if you were to buy it new. However, if you reuse your MR2 pedal face, you will need to reuse the pin that comes with it. Line up the pedal face pinhole and the new pedal rod pinhole. I found it was easier to start the pin into the pedal face before trying to push the pin through all the way. I found it incredibly difficult to use pliers to push the pin through the pedal rod, since I skipped the gym all this year. So I went to the only logical choice, the vise. Install the pedal assembly of the Frankenstein Motorworks adapter bracket with the two supplied nuts. Peel off the plastic covering on the pedal if you're lucky enough to have it. And gaze in admiration about the job well done. Now go install in the car and have fun with your new pedal assembly. For more information about the pedal assembly and other 2GRFE related videos, go to www.frankensteinmotorworks.com. If you like these quick clips, like and subscribe for more upcoming videos in the future.